Hello, my name is Eduardo Soto. I have been an immigration attorney for more than 33 years. And I would like to address the members of DACA today with how you can position yourself to become a lawful permanent resident. We all know the controversy surrounding DACA and the controversy with respect to not being able to get Congress to move forward to create a direct avenue to become a lawful permanent resident for members of DACA. But in reality, there has always been and there is a mechanism that allows members of DACA to become lawful permanent residents. What is that mechanism? It is called advance parole. What is advance parole? It is a travel document that members of DACA have and have had access to since its inception. Why is advanced parole the mechanism that permits you as a member of DACA to become a resident? Because we know now that the Supreme Court of the United States has decided that members of DACA who go out and come back in with advanced parole, the travel document that you are eligible for, permits you to erase and completely forgive any unlawful presence you may have acquired before you traveled. And you return to status, which then allows you to file for adjustment of status. That's right, becoming a resident here without having to receive it abroad. Now, obviously the entry, which is the mechanism allowing you to adjust here, must be coupled with either a family petition, but more than likely a labor certification Petition. Why? Because we know that labor certification doesn't have a long waiting period. If we go to the visa bulletin today for the month of May of 2024, it shows us that there is a waiting period of approximately 18 months in between the time that we file the labor pet petition and a number becomes available to you as a member of DACA and by doing your labor certification. The beauty of this is that if you file for your labor certification through a simple job offer, by coupling it with that entry through advanced parole, you will be in position to file for lawful permanent residency in approximately a year and a half to two years without having to receive it abroad. This has always existed for you. It continues to exist for you. And I invite you to contact us to learn more about this probability of becoming a lawful permanent resident in the United States.